hi everyone welcome back to my channel in this video we're going to talk about electrical work and wiring this is um, an exciting stage also very daunting because there's a lot of information and there's a lot of decisions to make so for the electrical work to begin once everything was up and the brick wall is um, all up in the ceiling and the roof is on we had to mark out everywhere where we needed to put electricity so during the walkthrough on the inside and outside we marked every spot that needed light and um, needed light switches and um, outlets um, we marked out the bathrooms the living rooms i mean every space that needed electricity we went through the house completely did a whole walk through it took us about three hours to identify those areas where we needed electricity. We marked it and the chiseling begun. One thing to consider when you are setting up your electricals is are you bringing in equipment from overseas that require anything other than 220? As you all know, Ghana's standard watts is 220 and um, here in the U.S. is about 110, which is about half what is needed. So for us, we shipped some um, appliances for the kitchen and the laundry room that are already there. And we wanted to make sure that we had provision for it. So only in the kitchen and laundry room, we provided 220 and 110 optional so that we're able to use those appliances if we decided to. And so all of that was done. As you can see, the holes were made for plumbing and um, all the electricals were put in place. Uh, there are two faces to the electrical wiring. So as you can see, this was before plastering. So as we marked the house, uh, the electrician went in and did his initial wiring work before the plastering began. Once the plastering was done, he had to do phase two. And so for phase two, um, before that, actually, we had to do an AC cabling too. We did the AC cabling before plastering. So there's um, electric TV cabling and AC cabling that all had to happen uh, before plastering. So we made sure that that was done. Um, during phase one, the wearing electric hanging out from the ceilings or anything, it was stuff that is supposed to go in the wall. Over here, those things belong in the drywall. But in this case, because it's brick, they had to chisel to make provision for that. I would say also that um, we had to... I lost my train of thought. Okay, so those pipes that you see on the floor, all of that got covered because we're, we're going to run a, a concrete um, float over all of those wirings that you see. Um, during phase one, uh, the plastering was done after that. Obviously, with the chiseling, it produced a lot of debris. As you can see on the floor, we try to clean up after every uh, particular job to keep the environment clean to keep the surroundings clean for construction but it doesn't stay clean forever so pardon the mess um, during phase two chiseling was done again for pipes to be laid the electric for the ground floor went through the floor and the ones for upstairs went through the ceiling so um, you will see in the video later on that after plastering, we had wires on the floor that needed to be tucked away. But all of that will go under the ground where the concrete um, float or slab will go over. So that will not be visible. That will be done before our final flooring is done. We also made sure that we made provision for um, two power boxes, uh, main power boxes. There's one downstairs and one upstairs to separate the load so that if we happen to have um, what do you call it? Um, let's say um, an issue with the box downstairs, it's only going to affect downstairs and not necessarily upstairs. So we separated that, which was a fantastic option. Uh, that poly tank up in the main entrance area will go away we have to find out where we want to put it but all the circles that you see are basically electric wiring just hanging out um, the pop person is going to consider that when they're doing the pop work and they're going to make sure that those wires are hanging out where we, we're going to put light fixtures 
So it looks like um, we're getting closer. Work's getting done. I appreciate you tuning in and watching my video once again. I hope you find this helpful. I bought this transformer here from the U.S. and we're shipping it to Ghana. Thank you for watching. Come back again for more.